Thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to talk about this fascinating, this awesome series. Both did a tremendous job, and I love you, both your characters. So let uh -huh. me start with you, Alessandro. Uh, something that, that really got my attention is that your character could have fallen into the trap of the white savior concept because when the series starts, we do not know his real motivations behind helping Huey. However, throughout the series, we discover his genuine intentions to help, and, and we fall in love. At least I, I fell in love with the character. So what was it like working uh, at this with this aspect of, of, of the character? Yeah. Um, well, it's funny because I, I, I just never th thought of the story in those terms. Um, to me, it was always a story about two guys who kind of fell in love with each other and were both real, f excuse me, uh, real screw ups. And, um, and who, um, in so many aspects of their life, uh, you know, were kind of a mess, but were both in their individual ways visionaries also. And that, um, you know, that they, they had this kind of like common obsession uh, of, of, you know, wanting to, to further this movement and that they mm -hmm. came together in that way in this kind of like extremely intense uh, mm -hmm. relationship. And um, so, yeah, I, 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 I never really like thought of it in terms of sort of one person saving another. Um, Bert, uh, was really was so committed to the the Panthers along with a lot of other different um, radical leftist causes, and he was a big anti-Vietnam proponent, and he was part of a a, a group of people like Jane Fonda and mm -hmm. Joan Didion in 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 L.A. at that time that were um, you know felt very strongly about these things. But when it came to Huey, it was kind of personal somehow, like he was really obsessed with him as a as a man and as uh i mean i heard in his interviews him saying things like that Huey was the the most the smartest man he'd ever met and he was so impressed that Huey had taught himself to read and write in in prison and was an autodidact and i mean he he just was really like in love with him and um it was it, it was a, a, a an amazing story because of that. Um, not not because he necessarily um, rescued him or uh, okay. anything like that. Excellent. Thank you for clarifying that and bringing that up. So, PJ, most of your scenes with Ale are with Alessandro. Your character has to deal a lot with Bert's stubbornness. Uh, uh, so, tell me about what was it like to handle the aspect of the character and how was working with this great actor next to, next to you. Oh yeah, I talk. I, I mean, I've talked about it before and like. It, a couple was things. That, was I intimidating to you? One hundred percent. I'm still. It's still a weird thing sitting next to this this gigantic aura. It's okay. You can breathe. Oh, no. Okay, baby. What if I start crying? <laughs> he touched me. He never touched me in the film. He just touched me for the first time. There's a there's a wild thing that you do sometimes when you're on a job. Like you have to know from the first moment when you look at your buddy, no matter what scene it is, you have to have this like instant relationship. And these two characters really were best friends. They grew up together as little kids. And my, I was the guy that was sort of always cleaning up the mess for this visionary, high-minded, big idea. But I also thought he made my life so exciting. And, you know, having – liking him and loving this guy as a human is such a big help. But also having an extraordinary actor to be in the scenes with is really just a, a double gift. So – and the journey of my character is he's not in the Huey P. Newton per se at first to, like, help in and help the claws. He's just here for his buddy because his buddy's trying to do the right thing. Uh, but then as time goes on and I learn about, you know, civil rights and Huey P. Newton, you know, it's this for me, it's about humanity. And you're you're presented with a yep. choice of doing the right thing. So right. if we're all going to step up as humans to do the right thing, my character sort of does that. And sort of mm -hmm. that's what makes me proud to like be a part of this and be with such great actors and tell the story. Excellent. Thank you so much. My time is up. So, again, you, I love what you did. You, you both did with your character. So thank you again so thank much. Thank you. For this wonderful series. Thank Cheers. You bye bye. Thank Thanks. you.